Okay. So, we can let that out. Is that going to blow this up? No, that doesn't. does appear to be the only way to do anything here, though. I think that gun's powered off right now, though, so I think we're kind of safe. Oh, I think I see. Hold on. Okay, I think that gun's off. Here's an idea. Let's jam that again. Turn that off. I'm not entirely sure if this is the way we're supposed to do this. Turn that on. I think doing this we can... Now get it to blow up that. That tree wiggled funny. Okay. Good enough for me. So, I need to keep a lookout if I can. I don't think this one has it, but I need to keep a lookout... See if there's a way I can get this out. I mean, one way would be, like we've seen before, if there's any stairs that, like, lead up to the outside. Like, I know there was a little weird ledge I could climb over here. If there's some way that I can grab it from over here. We already know that, so... Maybe I'll do like a perimeter check every time I finish one of these and see if there's any good spots for that. I could also just be heavily overthinking this and we can't get to it yet for, you know, some reason. I think I see what's going on here. We'll have to play through it for me to really understand, but I think I get it. Okay. Okay, I think, I think I got it. Let's jam that. Pick this up. Jam that. Take this with us. And we can jam that. Okay. You see now. And does it not appear like there are any places where I can well, actually what is that? Hold on. Where does that go? That's something I need to figure out. I can actually just walk around, I realized, but... Does this go anywhere? I wonder if we could set it up here somehow. I think my attempts to get out now are somewhat ruined. I don't know. That's the closest thing I'm seeing to us getting one of these out. Let me, um, let me run around. If I can get this one way at the end, over here to jam that. Yeah, jam that. And then run back and put it back in that pedestal area. That's the only thing I can think of, and I don't know what it looks like from the outside, but maybe... Maybe there's a way to grab that.
Does running through here reset these? I think it probably does. So somewhere over here. And I think it's like right here and it does not look like there's a way to jump up. No, it does not look like there's any way to get in this one. It almost looks like this was a puzzle at some point, and then it stopped being a puzzle. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's do this one. The guards must be crazy. Woo! I saw something right over here. Something glitchy looking. So we can let this one out. Oh, that didn't work. You know why? Because I broke the wall. And then the one that was holding him stopped. Alright. Give me a second, I'll get back there. Okay, so we're back to this again. I don't like all these beeping sounds, they make me nervous. Yeah. Let's jam them again. Get stay way over here when we turn everything off and it'll be less dangerous. There we go. Enough. So weird colors on this one. It might just be general glitchiness, though. That's the thing. It might not necessarily be covering up anything. Yeah, I didn't really see anything there. There's an interesting box here. Don't know if that would help much, though. I can't really get to anything. Maybe that, but I don't know. I think I don't think jumping works. I think you have to be standing on something higher to actually grab off a lower platform. And we can't actually jump on anything. Everything is covered with soap. Alright, so how do we do? Is that all of them, or is there more? I think we got all of them. User profile's been generated. Yes, download. Your new account has been registered. Display conflicts? Objective response and ask for subjective. User provided a particular account of personhood but was uncomfortable with its implications. User sought to maximize both liberty and quality of life but these ideals are incompatible. I do remember that. I do remember that one. User denied moral authority but defended moral claims. User had inconsistent ideas about value. I see. So, 
basically they ask you two questions that have like differing answers depending on their situations to get you to answer differently I see interesting you may already be criticizing your own performance but it's clear you understand how the world of, of ideas affects you even if you are sometimes weary with the realities and allow your preferences to dictate your beliefs you have a great deal of unused capacity which you've not turned to your advantage Disciplined and self-controlled outside, you tend to be worrisome and insecure inside, but you pride yourself as an independent thinker and do not accept other statements without satisfactory proof. This feels like I went onto one of those websites and I'm like, IQ test, you know, or like, am I a murderer? You know, like, like one of those things. Account privileges. Basic account privileges only due to outstanding notes in your account, and despite displaying many of the characteristics of being a person, Cannot be granted admin status at this time. I see. So if I answered consistently every time, they would have thought I wasn't a person, maybe? Or I wonder if it even would have made a difference. Com portal. Currently hold a basic account. Okay. I'm enjoying the basic functionalities very much. Sorry, I wasn't better able to assist you. If you're still encountering a problem, please describe it. Arg! Thank you. Support ticket has been generated and appended to your profile. Okay. I wonder if that was helpful. Oh well. Anyway. We already read all those. So. We still never got. Zoom. We still never got the star, which was somewhere over here. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to put it off for now. Maybe we'll get something later that will allow us to get it. I don't know. I'm wondering if, like, this box thing has something to do with, you know, anything, really. So it does look like A is ready. This is A to my understanding, right? So we could go in there. That looks kind of final though. Let's see where these other areas go. Also, I know we're doing a long one today, but I am having fun, so. This may take less than a month, you know, if I'm if I'm just kind of speeding through it pretty quick. I mean, I don't... Worlds, and we within them, are made of words. Hidden words, invisible to you, yet part of all things. God, why is this world we so big? Are a story. Your actions give life to the story. Thanks, God. Okay, so I presume I can only access this chunk of the area. I can't access... The great beyond over there with a couple trees and not exactly high textures. Oh, wow. Man, could you imagine? You know what this reminds me of? This kind of, this world the way it is, and it's kind of relatively low texture, but still obviously they put some work into it. It reminds me of. One of those survival games. Which one was it? Let me. I don't want to look it up really quick so I can tell you guys. Empyrean Galactic Survival. That's what it reminds me of. Because like your home planet that you start on and then even some of the other planets are just these massive worlds which feel, to be perfectly honest, kind of empty. But it's just, you kind of look out on it and you're like, wow, this world's huge. And while I have no real interest in exploring it as a whole, it doesn't change the fact that this is an absolutely massive play world. Okay. They're going that way for me. Let's look at the computer. Progress. Reply? Or report. One. Hi all, everything's been moved to the EL facility. I know it's sad to leave the good old Jeff building behind, but it makes sense for us to be on site. Especially as there may be severe power outages in the coming weeks. Arcadie's team is already working 
But you don't really need to worry about the teams getting in each other's way. The facility's genuinely humongous. Let's get this show on the road, Nadia. Mail air dot dot. I'll keep this short. You all know me, you know what I'm talking about. I realize that you're all working on projects meant to somehow avert... Find a solution. I believe that... Preserve the non-biological components. Not in terms of... Immediately you'll find the details of my proposal in the attachment. But the short version is... Global Undertaking. I have a feeling it has something to do with the end of the world. Alright, and beginnings. Dot text. Stradion of Stagira on beginnings is the grave heir of many philosophers, not only of the Athenian schools, but also of many others, that they begin not with observation of the cosmos as, it's, as it surrounds us, but with a conclusion already in mind. And often that conclusion is that the world was created ideal, and mankind itself is the greatest creation of the gods. Yet neither the world nor the gods owe mankind perfection. It is arrogance itself to presume so, and contrary to all the methods of philosophy, the honest philosopher seeks only the truth, even if it bears no comfort, and he must begin by assuming, as Socrates said, that all he knows is that he knows nothing. Sorry, I keep getting text messages I need to answer. Alright, back again. So, that should be all of those. I need all the shapes, God. You don't understand. This is an important thing to me. Excellent. <laughs> Hello, fellow person. It is me. I feel like this isn't how a real person walks around in this game world. That just kind of, that kind of feels like, you know, a thing they made for the game, if that makes sense. Like, they aren't recording actual user gameplay. I told you. Behold, I am Elohim, and I speak unto the darkness. God? Be gone. God, are you corrupting the world? Are you Excess fixing it? data cleared. Thanks, Dad. God. What are all these lower pads for? Do they actually go anywhere? You can tell that's a non-playable area just because there's like a whole lot of nothing down there. It's weird, it's like this big explorable area with nothing on it. But I'd hate to not explore it, you know, and miss out on like a star or something. It's probably important. I have no idea. May not be important for anything. Maybe there's a little cave with a star in it. I don't know. I'm just glad you can run really fast in this game. And I think, I noticed in options, there's like an option to change player movement speed to, I think, reduce motion sickness. So I think you can actually make your player faster if you want. Which makes sense. I mean, it's a... It's... Whoa. It's like a puzzle game, right? So... It's not like giving yourself the ability to run faster really detracts from the game much. How do you like that field of view? It's zoomed in all the time, every day. Oh, I see. You can reset yourself if you're stuck. I noticed at the bottom left corner I've got that little thing I unlocked. I was kind of... Ooh. I can go into third person. See yourself, see yourself as the real robot you truly are. Look at that bunny hopping animation. There isn't even really a jump animation. You just kind of levitate. Anyway, I'm kind of curious if there's other buttons I can use here. 
or anything. Obviously, X looks like one of them. Shift is run. That does that. Caps lock. Nothing. Alt. Space. Okay, that does that. Nothing in here looks like it activates that thing I unlocked. I assume it's like a context sensitive thing I'm going to run into at some point. But it doesn't look like it's anything I can immediately do. The answer that came to me again and again was play. Every human society in recorded history has games. We don't just solve problems out of necessity. We do it for fun. Even as adults. Leave a human being alone with a knotted rope, and they will unravel it. Leave a human being alone with blocks, and they will build something. Games are part of what makes us human. We see the world as a mystery, a puzzle, because we've always been a species of problem solvers. It's a deep psychological game where your character has no jump animation. God, it's getting glitchy again. Can you clear that up for me? Alright, I think I've mostly looked around. It does look like, if you do look around, you can find a few things, like the little memory data things. And, well, I guess like last time we did find, you know, a terminal. So maybe, maybe you do find stuff from time to time if you look around. Though then again, I could spend a good five minutes looking around and find, like, nothing. Let's do some puzzles. Branch it out. So, do we not need this one, or does it supply for something else, I wonder? Oh. This is the thing I'd gotten, right? Yes, it is me. Shine your light beams at me. I enjoy them. So I wonder if I didn't, in fact, have this already. Would I have not been able to do this puzzle? Or, like, that's what I'm curious about, I guess. I see. Okay. So that solves that. Hello, headless statue person. I think we'll end up wrapping it up before long. I think I'm probably at about an hour and a half. So we'll probably wrap it up at the two hour mark. So we've got another one here. Sorry. Text messages again. Okay, so we've done one. So, let's do this one now. So basically, the thing about these is you can connect multiple things as long as they presumably have line of sight. Uh, you can even do it through fences, that's good. and bounce the light to multiple places. Easy enough. So we've unlocked box now. Or maybe you can't do these unless you have them, because I'm I see the symbol under them now. Anyway, let's keep going. One over there, 
One right here. Should be two. I think there's another one... somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not. Don't cross the streams. Is this dead? It's not dead. Oh, if you cross them, they cancel out. I gotcha. I mean, I can do that. So the puzzle here is we need to get both of these through. Imagine... I could do something like this. Whoops. Right? There we go. Yeah, just have it go around behind it. on the windmill next, I guess. There should still be one that way. It's saying there should still be another thing this way somewhere, so there's like a hidden thing somewhere. Oh, no, no, it's this. Okay. It's not. Okay. I was getting confused. Don't worry about me. Above all that, another thing I was considering was height elevation. You could really easily get something to go the way you want it to if you got a height elevation, which looks like that's exactly what they want us to do here. Then they won't be on the same plane and it doesn't get in the way. The windmill's coming through, boys. So, I think we've gotten all of these now. Yeah. Okay. Easy enough. Remember how God told us not to go to the tower? I wonder where the tower is. Anything new? No? Okay. Alright. Well, in terms of, like, by and large puzzles, obviously I haven't gotten all the stars, but I've done one through four. And it looks like there's six, uh, five, six, and seven. There oh. are mysteries What's in this? my garden. Hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. Alright, can't go that way yet. Maybe I have to get all the stars. Maybe that's what it is. Alright. So how do I save? I'm assuming it checkpoints me. And there is no physical save. Oh, let's do the box really quick. Okay, four blocks. That's not right. Hmm. There we go. Give me the block. Like the portal cube? Cube? Bye, cube. Okay. Alright, well, I think I'm done for there for today. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I should do anything differently or if I'm doing it wrong. Obviously, this game does not give you a lot of direction. 
and you're kind of supposed to figure it out is kind of what I'm seeing. But if there's anybody that has anything to say, of, you know, anything interesting or of real importance that I should probably know, feel free to let me know. And, uh, well, I guess we'll reflect on it more next time when we come back. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye!